Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. We're back with another episode of the 31 Days of Horror. And today, we're covering the new Halloween movie, Halloween Ends. So this is going to be kind of like a split review like I've done before. Because uh, I'm going to go into spoilers for this because it needs to be talked about. I'll let you know. I'll start off with like a, a basic summary and a basic rating, and then I'll go into the spoilers after, but I'll let you know just in case you don't want to hear the spoilers. Okay, so first up, um, as of right now, it's uh, about 10.30 at night on uh, October 13th. Um, I caught like an early show of this. It was at 5 o'clock. Well, not 5, like 6, like 5.30 or something like that. Um... So yeah, this is kind of a, you know, just so you know, th this is like a fresh review. I literally kind of just came home. Uh, so, Halloween ends. It's four years after the end of Halloween Kills. Um, Laurie Strode has pretty much moved on with her life. She's like tried to, she's like writing a book about what's going on and everything. And she's living with her granddaughter because you know her daughter's dead. Which I'm actually quite glad about because I really hated her character. Uh, and, you know, Halloween's rolling around. You're going to get more Michael Myers action. I'll leave it there for the non-spoiler part. This movie, the effects were great. I loved the effects in it. I loved... Honestly, I'll just put it this way right now. I loved this movie. For me, it's a complete 9 out of 10. It is a great movie. That being said, is it a great Halloween movie? Not necessarily. So that, that's my overall rating. 9 out of 10. Leave it at that. Um, I'm going to get into spoilers now. So if you know, if you don't want spoilers, click off. It's all good. Um, yeah. Here we go. So... Yeah, 90% of this movie, uh, Michael Myers isn't in it. Essentially, what you have is kind of... Uh, it's going to sound weird saying it, because I've always said it's kind of one of my favorite movies. But you have kind of the Friday the 13th, The New Beginning type thing going on here. But done a little bit better. In that, you know, Michael Myers is in this movie. Don't get me wrong. He is in this movie. Um, he plays actually quite a pivotal role in this movie, but most of the, the kills and everything are done by someone else. Now, this movie handled this, this in a really good way. You know, this, the whole idea of this movie is kind of like, um, like violence is like transmittable, if you will. So, essentially, you got, you got like, a, a second killer in this movie. And, you know, they do come into contact with Michael. That's honestly almost, like, the, the impetus of this person becoming a killer. Um, I'm trying not to go too spoilerific in this, but, yeah... Let's just say, let's just say Michael has an apprentice. Now, it's not an apprentice like, you know, like, oh, I'm going to teach you my ways or anything like that. No, it, it's like someone who's crazy, who finds Michael Myers, and essentially Michael Myers has, like, I guess he feels like a kinship towards him or something. He see, I guess he sees some of himself in him because he doesn't kill this guy. Um, it was an interesting idea, really, because, I mean, Michael has been essentially, like, at least in this new series, in this new trilogy, has been essentially a killing machine. He's just pretty much wiping out anyone that comes into contact with him. But this guy... There's something there. I guess he sees something there. Um, I'll leave it at that for that. But it's definitely an interesting plot point. Do we get to see the... 
final showdown between Michael and Lori, yes. Is it good? Yeah. Is it the end of Michael Myers that the character deserves? You know what? Yeah, it is. Um, make no mistake about it. At the end of this movie, Michael Myers is dead. Like, completely dead. I mean, you know, th there's no coming back from that. Let's just say that. But... I really enjoyed this movie. I loved the gore. I love that they kept that same level of gore as Halloween Kills. I like that they realized the fact that, you know, when Rob Zombie did his Halloweens and he made them more brutal and everything, you know, some people complained about it, but I'm glad they looked and they saw, you know, it's like, you know what, that actually works. So yeah, they, they do that really well. Essentially, let's, let me just put it this way. This is everything I would want in a Halloween movie. Um, with the exception of 90% of the time it's not Michael. There's also a part, though, when this killer is using a different mask. And I, honestly, I wish they'd run with that. I wish they'd essentially like introduced a new, like, a new masked, masked killer that Laurie would have to deal with and sort of thing. And in the background, Michael's just stalking around and doing stuff. I, I, I would have liked that maybe a bit more because you do have kind of, I'll say the pseudo Michael. At one point you get him wearing the mask and everything. And you know, it, it is what it is. All in all, like I said, good movie. Well, really good movie, actually. A good ending to this trilogy but this is definitely going to... People are... This is going to be a love-hate movie. I'm sure of it. And I think a lot of people are going to have issues with it. Essentially, the people that are going to have issues with this movie are the same people that had issues with um, Friday the 13th Part 5 and had issues with Halloween 3. You know, um, this does it... This handles it better than either of those two did. Um... Because, you, you know, Friday 5, it's all our boy with the blue chevrons of equality. Um, it's, it's never really Jason. You know, he's in it in, like, a literal, like, dream sequence. Um, Michael is in this movie. So don't, don't think for a second that he's not. But I definitely see why this will be a divisive one. Um... I see this movie getting a following later. You know, a couple of years down the road, you know, people are going to be looking back on it and they'll be like, you know, that was actually a good movie. You know, I didn't I didn't give it enough credit at the time because this is, like, I was after this and I got this. You know? So, yeah. Just, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So, 9 out of 10. Really solid release. Really good ending to the trilogy. Um, I don't, for the life of me, think that Michael Myers is going to be quiet. Yeah, I think we're going to, you know, we'll get another, be it a reboot or, or something. We will get more with the Michael Myers character because he's just such a cool character to work with. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's it for me. See you next time.